sorry because I know it made like a huge wave after I was here. Right. And he just made that face. <laughs> Wait, how did you see the face? Were you in person? No, you know those little emojis that oh, they Oh, yes, he, did, he said <laughs> that. So he did, that's all he responded, is a face like that? Yeah. Oh, he's mad. <laughs> yeah. It's a long story. Don't worry about it. But, but yeah, Jake reached so out to her. Yeah, it's so long, we should not start it again. Well, OK, we won't. Um, so Halloween is such a big, a big thing for you. This year, you went as Fiona from yes. Shrek, right? He was Shrek, and I was Fiona. How long did this take, y'all? It took probably, I don't know, like eight, nine hours. That's insane. Yeah, like I never, I always wanted to be Fiona and I never had a Shrek and now I had a Shrek. So I was like, will you be my Shrek? And he said, yes, of course, I would love to. And then, you know, I kind of didn't mention that we were gonna arrive in this onion uh, carriage buggy thing <laughs> that was in the movie. And he was like, what, I have to go in this? I mean, he was so nice that he agreed on all these things because also, you know, having the suit on, you know, you really hot. Like at the end of the night, like I literally pulled my dress off and I had this spank thing underneath, you know, in order to have like nice thighs and have a nice booty and all that. It literally looked like I peed myself. It was all wet. It was because it was so hot on yeah. this thing. I bet. I bet you lose weight wearing all those outfits. Yeah. And because nothing breathes, like everything is prosthetic. So you kind of like incubate it. It's amazing thing. you have good skin because I would think that all that would mess up your skin. Afterwards, it does a little bit, yeah, yeah. because they put this harsh stuff on it. And then in order to get it off, they really have to like dig underneath and rip a little piece, dig underneath and rip a little piece. So it's, it's, it's hard to get that off. It takes about two hours to get it off. Mm -hmm. Wow. That was a real test. So he's still with you, huh? He didn't leave? He has not left yet, no. See, I would have left. If that was me and someone made me, I'd be like, bye bye. That's. It's it's only once a year, Halloween. It doesn't but... matter. That's a whole day. He, the whole day is gone. So let's uh, see how we will do this year on Halloween. All right. And has he proposed yet? Um, not that I know. OK. Well, <laughs> I just thought maybe on New Year's Eve or something, because that would be the I night know. to do it. Yeah. No. Yeah. Do you want to get married? Um, I've been married twice. No, I know. But do you want to get married <laughs> so. to him? I still believe in love and the marriage. I yeah. do. And I, I, you know, even though I've failed twice at it, I'm, I guess I'm not very good at it. But um, that's not true. You have to find the right person. You both have to be the right for each other. I found a great person. Yeah. So let's he, see what happens. Yeah. He hung out and was Shrek for you. So that's the. Yeah. <laughs> He hid that amazing body and that face and that that costume. So, I mean, yeah, he does have an amazing body. Yeah, he does. All right, let's talk about America's Got Talent, the champions. Yes. So these are people that have already been on. Yes. So they're, they're fan favorites, or they're people who have won before. And you know, it's uh, Got Talent. I think is over 100 and what 80 countries around the world. So you have all these amazing people that we have never seen here in America. For example, like Susan Boyle. Like I'm secretly like a fan of Susan Boyle. You know, and that's how I knew about Got Talent and right. became a fan. Seeing her on the stage, it was like, oh my god, it's so spoiled. You know, it was yeah. amazing to see her on the stage. Um, or the regurgitator, who was one of my favorites, um, mm. he came back, you know, he regurges things, yes. and then he, I mean, he swallows things, then he regurgitates them back and up. And that's I one of your favorites? Him. He's one of my favorites. He's back. <laughs> Um, Kandichi is back. So a lot of people from different places who have won or fan favorites, yeah. they have come back and they're battling it out for being the champion. That's fantastic. Of the world. It's a great idea. Because yeah. you'd think that they wouldn't want to come back. They're already famous and they're risking losing to somebody, but they're doing it. But I guess it's kind of like the Olympics. You know, you have people from all the different countries and they all come together because mm. they want to know who is the best in the world. So it's kind of like yeah. that. It's pretty amazing. The champion. Yeah. Um, and who's the host? It's Terry Crews. Oh, great. I had not heard of Terry before, but only because I don't watch a lot of TV. I have four kids, and I do three shows a year. I'm doing Germany's Next Top Model right now for the next three months. So I don't personally watch a lot of TV, but he's awesome. I yeah. don't know if you guys do. Yeah, we know Terry Crews. We watch. <laughs> we watch TV. Yeah. He's great. No, he's awesome. He's, he's a lot of fun. I love Tyra, and I had no idea that Tyra wasn't there. You know, I showed up, and I was like, where's Tyra?